Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. So today, oh, I don't know why I thought this was a good idea to do it at once. Alright, so today I'm going to be taking you guys along with me on this like shopping spree, I guess. I'm going to be shopping for my classroom and for my new classroom and it's exciting. There's a lot of work to be done to that poor classroom, but also I'm going to be moving classrooms midway through the year. So that's like the biggest bummer ever so I have to be smart about it I'm gonna go ahead and go to Michael's Target um, let's see Hobby Lobby and let's see if we find some other stores right now I'm outside of tropical smoothie I just got done eating some breakfast with a girl from church and that was super sweet because she bought me um, breakfast so thank you Katia if you're watching this video anyway so yeah I'm so pumped for today I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and if you do don't forget to go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already let's go ahead and get into it look at the back I'm so pumped I just got out of Target and I found so many good things oh my gosh I can't wait to show you guys um, I'm gonna go ahead and do like a sit down clip where I just like sit down and show you guys everything that I got from a bunch from like all the stores that I went to I did I think I bought like something at every single store except for Michaels Michaels really disappointed me but I did find cute things online so I think I'm just gonna order cute things online from there um, but yes I'm so pumped Okay guys, so it is the next day and as you can see, I found a bunch of stuff. I'm so excited because I have been wanting to do this for a long time. As a lot of you guys know, I got a new classroom, I'm working at a new school and things are different. I did, I was able to see my classroom um, one time and honestly I should have taken pictures of it because I already forgot what I need to work with. But I did remember a little bit, so that was pretty helpful. Um, the fact that I was able to go into my classroom and see like what I have and kind of like what I'm working with. Um, my classroom is very, it's a very big classroom, bigger than I'm used to. But I think I'm also gonna have more students than I'm used to, so it'll balance out. So yes, let's go ahead and get going. I bought some stuff from different places. The majority of this haul is from Target, so I'm gonna go ahead and do Target last. Um, just because I bought a bunch of stuff from there, but you guys I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and get started Okay, so starting with Ross. I got this a really pretty globe. I actually had found one from um, Michaels online, but I got this one for So $12.99 and I was actually able to get it for 10% off of that because it doesn't spin that well Which I mean, it's okay, but I was um, able to get 10% off of it and so um, technically I saved a bunch of money because at Michael's I would have spent like almost $20 with um, buying a globe that looks just like this or pretty similar to this so yes it's super cute I love it so much I'm excited this is probably just gonna be like decor um, for my desk and actually I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a desk this year I didn't last year I had a tiny little like uh, podium like stand and I won't have that this year so who knows maybe I'll just make my kidney table my um, desk who knows? I don't typically go for desks because I like to just move around the room a lot and also I feel like it just collects clutter and um, yeah, so if I don't have a desktop, I don't really see the point in having a huge desk um, and I've just gotten used to that over the years, so it's nice. Um, anyway, the next thing that I got from Ross is this clock and I think it's really cute. I'm not sure if I'll actually put like batteries on it, probably, it only takes one battery. But this one was $8.99 and I've seen a lot of clocks like these um, at Target, like Hobby Lobby, everywhere. They're pretty popular and the fact that I got it for $9 
was really awesome so I had to get it from there so yes that's all I got from Ross I didn't really find a whole lot but I am gonna go back I'm gonna go back to Ross to TJ Maxx and other places to see like what I find but you guys probably won't see those things until I start putting my classroom together um, because I don't want to bore you with a bunch of classroom hauls um, but yes I would definitely go ahead and check out Ross um, TJ Maxx home goods things like that for like furniture or rugs or just decor for your classroom the next place that I went to is Hobby Lobby and I was, um, I always get overwhelmed when I go to Hobby Lobby, like there's just too many things to look at and the way it's organized is not the way I would organize a store like that. Um, but I do love Hobby Lobby, don't get me wrong. So I found this storage organizer and it is so cool. It's like a bunch of pencil boxes together. I don't really know like if I'm going to use them for pencil boxes or not, but um, I was thinking I can use this for so many things like math manipulatives. I can use them for flashcards. I can use them for students' personal belongings. And this was this one was only fourteen ninety nine. So I thought it was a big, um, yeah, a big deal. Um, let's see. There's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So there's sixteen um, storage bins inside. And I like that it has like a, its own little like case. So I'm excited to use those. I'll go ahead and show you guys later what I end up using them for because I don't know yet. The next thing that I got from Hobby Lobby is this better than paper, um, bulletin paper, I guess you can say. Bulletin board roll. There you go. Maybe if I read, it'll be better. So I got this roll of boxwood and I am really excited to add some greenery to my classroom. I think anything green just makes um, things stand out and I think it's going to be a really good like accent wall if I have like a bulletin board or even for my board like I said I have a lot of wall space so I have several bullet bulletin boards I have two um, dry erase boards and then the rest of the walls is oh my goodness <laughs> and then the rest of the walls are brick so that is one thing that I'm gonna have a hard time with because um, I do wish I can drill things to the wall and I think I probably still can but I need to figure that out because I've never had like a brick classroom before which is okay but the next thing that I got is this burlap better than paper um, bulletin board roll and I'm excited so it looks like just like burlap and I've never used better than paper bulletin board um, paper I feel like I'm repeating myself anyway I've never used this kind of paper for bulletin boards so I'm excited but they say that the hype is real so We'll see. We'll see if it's true. So each of these rolls were $15.99. I do think it's pricey for sure, but I think from what I've heard and what I've seen, I think it is reusable. So if I can reuse it for um, other years, then that would be awesome. And I'm so excited to decorate my classroom with this. So yeah, I'll let you guys know how it turns out. And then the last door is Target. I love Target. I knew Target was going to come through because Target always does. And I did overspend. Um, there for my classroom and I don't really regret it because I think it's gonna come out really good in the end and I'm gonna use every single thing that I bought like it nothing is gonna go to waste so I'm super pumped about that I bought these bins um, for three dollars each the sad part was that they didn't really have a whole lot of uh, of these bins left like they only had like the colors that I don't really want I'm going for a color scheme so like as you could tell I don't know if you could tell actually but greenery um, browns light pink black and clear white um so those kinds of colors one is going to be for like missing work and then another another one is going to be like a uh, homework bin something like that i don't know yet the next thing that i got are these bulletin borders they are beautiful um my favorite part is that they are reversible so i am so excited this is so cute i love it i love this and then it has stripes in the back um, I got another one that was the same as this one and then this one um, this one says you are more than a test score on one side and then it has this on the other side so I love the fact that they're reversible um, can't wait to put my bulletin boards together with this all right and then next up I got this pegboard um, which I'm gonna use for probably around my teacher corner area like my personal teacher corner and then I got these wall pockets as well. Um, I'm probably gonna hang some pens and markers and pencils, things like that there. So I'm pumped. I can't wait to see what that looks like. And then um, I also got some of these dry erase pockets. 
These were only a dollar. Oh, these, the pegboard and the pockets were $5 each, so $10 together. And then these were only a dollar, so I had to get, I think I got like a handful, like three. Oh, did I only get three? Oh no, I'm gonna have to go back for more. For some reason, I thought I got more than this. But these are super cute, love them. And then the next thing that I got is this metal frame daily erase weekly um, calendar. So I do wanna get one for the whole month, but I couldn't find a good one. Like I couldn't find the one I wanted at Target, so I'll have to look around somewhere else. I think TJ Maxx might have a good one. And then, or Home Goods, I think. But anyway, I like this one because I like the fact that I can just write some notes of everything that's gonna happen that week. Um, so I think this is gonna be really handy for me. And then up next is this thermal laminator. So I was like iffy about where, whether I should get this. Oh, by the way, this one was, I think this one was $10. I'm not sure, but um, then this laminator, I wasn't sure about at first because um, I'm used to, my school does have a laminator. This school that I'm gonna be working for, it does have a laminator, but I'm not sure like how, if it's gonna be easy access because we have like different buildings, like the where the laminator is, it's not the same building where my classroom is. So I'm like, well, it might just be more convenient if I buy my own. However, I'm not sure how expensive it's gonna get when I have to buy the laminating uh, pouches. But I guess we will see. This one was only like $16, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I also bought these from Hobby Lobby and I missed them, but they're a bunch of llamas and just decor for my bulletin board or for my door, something. Oh, you're cold? Sorry, Cami just got out of the pool and she's cold now, so. Um, anyway, so the next thing that I got is this little plant from the dollar section. This one was $3. Um, these bins come in a pack of three. I believe these were $2. Um, something like that and then I have this like paper clip holder I don't really know what it is I'm I'm guessing you just like put like a flyer or a poster on here but let me see wire desk accessory oh it might just be an accessory for my desk who knows anyway I thought it was super cute and it was only three dollars and I'm sure I can use it for something so that's why I bought it I also got these tubs for my books these ones were five dollars each and I love them they are a pretty good size so I'm excited for that and they are stackable so I'm I can cold. stack them like this if I want to. You're cold? Yeah. Go to the sun. Go in the sun. Cami wants to say hi to you guys. She just got out of the pool. Hi. Look. <laughs> Show them your, your swimming suit. It's cute, huh? And then she was eating watermelon as well. Yeah. Yeah? It has rainbows. It has rainbows. Yeah. How cute. It right. has that purple. <laughs> yes. You're so cute, Camps. All right, bye Cami. I'll see you later, okay? All right, and then I'm gonna go through the last few things pretty quickly um, with you guys because I don't wanna bore you guys. Um, but the next thing that I got from the, do the dollar section at Target were these cute little jars. I love them, they were only $3 and I'm gonna use them for like paper clips and um, just clips and I don't know. I don't know, oh, tax maybe, I think. Um, but how cute are they? I love them, $3, not, a, not bad. And then I got this reusable pouch some erasers. I'll probably use these for my price box. Um, I also got some certificates. These were all a dollar. So all these, all these things I'm showing you guys were a dollar. These wood clips um, were three dollars, and I'll show you guys later what I'm gonna use them for in my classroom. I also got some adhesive label pockets, and these are awesome. These were only three dollars, three dollars, and there's twenty count in here. And then some adhesive pockets again, bigger. Um, there's 15 count in here, so so pumped about this. I got a reusable pouch for all my snacks because you know I'm a big snacker, so this one is more for me. Um, Three dollars, and then I got some um, name tags or decals. Um, there's 10 count here, so I got three of them just in case. I don't know how many kids I'm gonna have yet, so um, these were all a dollar, and they're super cute. Look at this. And then the next thing that I got was this 30 book goal um, bookmark. So I thought that was a super good idea because um, it'll just motivate my students to get through books. And as soon as they're done with one book, they can scratch it off. So I thought that was super cute. And there's um, 30 in here um, for a dollar. So super good deal. Okay, guys, so that's all that I have for this haul. I hope that you guys got some good ideas with this video on what you can get for your classroom. And definitely check out Target, but don't just... I guess don't just put all your eggs in one basket. Like definitely look for other stores. There's also a lot of things on Amazon. If you are in interested in seeing some things that I have gotten in my class, have gotten, 
Okay, some things that I have gotten for my classroom or that I will get for my classroom, go ahead and look at my Amazon storefront and that's linked um, down below as well as on my Instagram in my bio. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, bye guys.